boy DJ Mad Maverin with Mark Francois and Nas. Collectively, we are known as the Goonies. So I need to be able to have, I need to discuss this with someone. I need to. And so Nas, you saw, um, you saw Insecure. Insecure. And Mark, you have not seen Insecure Mark, yet. you need to get from up under right. that rock. Okay. What is Insecure? What is what it about? Is it? Okay. All Do you right. know it's all right, Mark? Do I know Insa Ray? Oh my God! Issa Ray, get yes, out! Wonderful. Lisa Ray, Issa, not Lisa get, Ray. Get out <laughs> <laughs> now! Get Issa out. Ray, I, let me look her up real quick. Okay, you out. look her up and uh, we'll discuss. Issa so, Ray is Bay. Now, okay, Nas, what um what episode did you get to? Did you get to season two? So I've been catching up. I'm on. The, the, this is the latest season, season two, I believe, right? Yeah. So yeah, I've been catching up. <laughs> So you you saw the live episode last night. I, and I think it came on at eleven. Right, and I'm yeah. trying to remember now because I watched so many episodes and I got all these memories. Oh, okay. Did okay. she get evicted? I don't don't say it. I don't know. Wait, no, no, no. Season two. Oops. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Hold on. No, no. Okay, so I didn't see Oops. last night. But wait, season you're gonna two. tell me what this show is about? Oh, you know what? No? I can say I it because it yeah, season two it is came done. out and I. I think season two. Yeah, this is, is that, done. that was the end of it last night. No, because I've seen a lot of people. Okay, post. so I don't know about that. I didn't see that yet. Okay, so I seen um, any of our followers over here. You about to spoil it? No, I ain't about to spoil it because everybody should have seen it last Everybody's night. Everybody's seen season two. I didn't see it last night. Out, so you oh, can't it's an HBO show. Yes, it's an HBO it's show. It's an HBO show. Um, it's on demand. It's a comedy. And yes. yeah, it's basically. It's kind of like a funny comedy drama yeah so but my thing is i want to talk about molly okay molly catching little feelings for homeboy now like and what is going on because like homeboy's married it's interesting well he claims that they're in an open relationship right that's what he claims now i couldn't tell (laughs) if he was lying or not because if you notice when his uh, girl when they came to yep when she came back for uh what's his name's birthday and they had their birthday dinner yeah yep for uh oh yeah Derek's uh, derek's birthday and um she was standing next to molly like hey what's up you know Uh how you been and all that stuff and i the vibe i couldn't tell if she knew or they both molly was terrified nope she didn't know molly was terrified molly molly was like girl why are you standing next to me right now this is the thing molly she keeps putting herself in situations and predicaments that is hindering her like even in the beginning she was dating like she was just dating random dudes and then it got to just dating random dudes to smash and she wasn't looking for a relationship and now she's putting herself in a position where she's being in an open relationship with a married guy but i cracked molly's code i cracked let me tell you when i cracked molly's code or when we all like it was just broken down to us Mm -hmm. that scene where she was picking up a package and the guy was telling her should i give it should i hand it over to him and she was like me and him are together and the guy was standing there by himself was this last night I believe so. I didn't see last night. Okay. So, oh, yeah, I think it might have been last night. Okay. Um, because when I was watching on demand, it asked me, did I want to go live? And I, you know, when you yeah. turn it on live, it's the actual. Okay. Um, but this is how you figure out the kind of girl Molly is. She's okay. a very successful girl. Is she a lawyer? Yeah, she's a lawyer. Very successful lawyer. She works for a firm amongst these other, you know, Caucasian males. Yeah, yeah. And All she f- male based Caucasian. She yeah. feels like she should she was sitting there with her therapist and every every sentence that she says about herself my life should mm-hmm. or i should or this should so her therapist was telling her there's something called wishful thinking like basically you think that your life should go a certain way and this is you know th- th- that's where the should comes in yeah. you know everything she says this should i should we should i you know so she thinks that her life should be a certain way or better than what it is and she's not accepting what it is Mm -hmm. and then the other situation is um she's trying to get into a boys club so she can be seen as equal to you know the caucasian males that work with her Mm -hmm. and that's not the case and I, i can tell you this you know being a black woman working in whatever industry um you know, there there is a gap. There's it's definitely being a, being a woman, yeah. being black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's difficult. 
but you got to do what you got to do. You got to prosper. Like, you know, I, I had a I colleague. Like that. Say that again. You got to. You got to prosper. Exactly. You just got to do what you got to do. You got to take it on the chin and keep it moving and just, mm-hmm. you know, so survive. What's your, so, what, so what do you So what do you think about Molly? Do you think she has an so issue? So Molly, you... Molly has an issue. She has the independent woman syndrome. And that, like I said, that scene right there, there was a scene where she was going to pick up a package, driving her white Audi, you know, bossed up all in her heels in her suit and the guy asked her if he should give it to the guy behind her she was like oh no i'm not with him like in a way not a condescending way but basically saying oh i got it and the guy's just sitting there looking at her and you know the guy could have offered her help but the way it unfolded you see that he was with a white woman it was a black guy mm-hmm. he was with a white I woman i remember that scene she was going to go pick up something like an ikea shelf mm-hmm. and she saw him and she thought he was going to come to be like yeah you want me to help you with that or something like that and i think she kind of did that to show that no i'm independent i don't need your help and then he wasn't even thinking about her because he was in a relationship already with his girl and his girl was a white woman mm-hmm. yeah and that made her feel salt like she was salt and then she's carrying the shelf by herself all struggling right and here he's not even worried about her that, He's carrying that was a something for scene. another woman, yeah. That was dope. But that yeah. that unfolded to who Molly was. That yeah. that was her character. Like you're this strong, independent woman. Yeah. But at the end of the day, strong, independent woman. I had to learn this the hard way too, because I'm an independent woman. <laughs> and strong independent women need love too. Like we need yeah. you know, nurture. But you have to allow somebody to be able to do that for you. If you're always pushing away, then mm-hmm. people gonna get tired. They're yeah. gonna be like, you know what, girl? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So so I yeah I like Molly and um, I understand that it, it's going to be interesting, but I think she always puts herself in a situation that hinders her from finding herself and being in a real relationship. Mm-hmm. Like when she when when uh, what's his name the boy ended up you know saying like you know yeah we were high school friends and all this stuff and I'm in an open relationship what you want to do and she did that I think that just completely is going to put a wrench in her growth uh, as a woman trying to yeah. find that relationship and then on top of that her finding out that her mom and her that her dad cheated on her mom mm-hmm. but her she mom forgave her and she, yeah and, and so she was like pissed off because she had this fantasy dream like everything is perfect with them so I'm trying to find something with them so now she has this sense of uh uh a guy needs to be perfect and I don't have to forgive you it's it you messed up and all that stuff you know what I mean that kind of thing so but now you fooling with a married it, man exactly which yeah. is interesting which is real interesting now when it comes to Issa and <laughs> Lawrence that is tough I think that Lawrence uh, Lawrence is heartbroken he's yeah he's very heartbroken he's devastated because um he she was never honest with him when he was you know, on that couch for four he, years. Yeah, it was a way. It was his fault and hers. It was his fault in a way, but then it wasn't. It wasn't really hers. It's just on the she, couch. She made a mistake. So he has this. Okay, so Lauren says it's a raised boyfriend. She cheated on him with her ex boyfriend. Basically, slept with her ex boyfriend, and Lawrence has been on her couch. You know, they're living together, but he's been on the couch for four years, um, working on a business plan. Okay. Trying to, so you know, he's build this empire. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he hasn't been honest with her how. Well, no, he was honest, but he he's an entrepreneur. He was an entrepreneur, but he, and he was trying still. to start. Yeah, he was trying to start his own app, and so he stayed like at home, didn't at their apartment, didn't get a side job, and just work on on the app. So she was bringing in all the money, paying all the bills, and he's like, everything is cool because you know I'm working on my business plan. It's been four years, but I'm grinding and all this other stuff, like trying to get it off the ground, trying to get the business loans, but it wasn't happening. So Issa started feeling kind of away, like you just starting to be a bum, dude. You know what I mean, like. She believed in him, but uh, it's like no. he got a little too comfortable. He got way Did he was, get comfortable, yeah, or was he, he still grinding? No, he, he was, wasn't bringing in money. He wasn't what bringing you, in anything. What do you mean? I you could be grinding. Let me tell you this: you could be grinding. You could be up twenty four seven, even when I'm sleeping, doing what you have to do. But if you're not bringing in money, and I'm the the breadwinner as a but female, wasn't that if the we deal? don't agree like, with this, no, it wasn't the deal. So why did she let it happen for four years if it wasn't the deal? Because, the first year, because when, when you love somebody, there's no way. You know, sometimes you don't want to break them. You don't want to hurt their feelings and say, hey, get your behind up. You know, I'm not paying these bills no more, whatever it is. So she gave him his space. And here's what she had on the back of her mind, because I can understand this. In the back of her mind, it was like, okay, it's going to get better. 
it's gonna get better like tomorrow's a new day he's he gonna get his, his together you know what i'm saying he's he's gonna get it together he's gonna get it together and then when he doesn't get it together it's like she starts losing a little bit of hope and then she's like okay you need to get a job he's like no i'm not gonna get a job i'm I good know, i, I don't like it no but you, <laughs> like you have it. to come listen uh, and then the jojo the comes around and gets in her pants <laughs> yeah and then the but, app blows up and he's like wildly successful and then he it looks didn't blow in, up. It but got wait for down. it and no it, it, the whole thing got turned down yeah but then and then wait for it no 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 he it got turned down like it, it's like it, he put it so he was presenting it to a company and the company he finally decided to get a job with this company that did apps and stuff but they didn't accept it and they're like it's it's outdated like whole there were so many loopholes in it he's like dad this is crazy i've been working on this for years and the one girl that he's talking to now that works at the job she was like you know sometimes you have to let some old stuff go and just it it, leaves, it opens uh doors for new ideas and stuff like that so he's like yeah um and he decided to go ahead but it's going to be very interesting to see how this works i personally believe that lawrence should have stayed with uh bank bay the the bank girl tasha she, tasha was cool Ugh. tasha was cool she was cool she but was, he wasn't feeling tasha he wasn't into her it was just a comfort thing do it you was think just, so she was yeah. so nice she was like legit nice she was I heard nice. a lot of my female friends were like oh she's super thirsty but i was like nah she she's not super thirsty let me tell you what she is she's vulnerable okay. and she wants that male counterpart so bad and even the part where she was like you know he he kind of like stood her up like so he gave up the app entirely. He's not gonna pitch it to another company. He's like, gonna try seriously. to do something different. No, because he got he got he like he legit got the opinions of other people in it, and the app was legit old. Like it was like outdated. Got it, it was like outdated. So that's gonna be interesting. And um, yeah, four I have years to working on up. one app. Come on. Yeah, I have to catch up. Get with, it together, um, Lawrence. I have to catch up with it. Uh, uh, later Last on this episode. evening But ladies and gentlemen Coming up next uh, We have a couple more records We're going to drop And then we have What the problem is If you have your opinion On Insecure Whatever it may be Call in at 215-619-7366 What's up? <laughs> Say the number again Because I cut you 215-619-7366 Go ahead Mark Okay so It's the right Did y'all read her book? No Okay, the misadventures of awkward black girl. Yes, she started off doing that first, and she made a YouTube channel. She yeah, was New York Times with, bestseller. That's yep. what it's saying. New yep. York Times bestseller. Then she got her YouTube content. She did content for and Pharrell. Then I think Pharrell signed. Yep, he and signed. And then her. she got twenty-five million views, over two thousand two hundred thousand subscribers. So y'all telling me about her, and y'all didn't even read her book. Like, wouldn't that be the first thing to do? No. <laughs> Insecure with the show, <laughs> and then we'll get to the book. But I did watch the uh, what uh, what was that her channel called? I did watch it. I remember when it first came on. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, once again, you are tuned into the number one college radio station in the country, Monco Radio. It's your boy DJ Matt Maverin with Mark Free and Swan Niles. Collectively, we are known as the Goonies. If you have your opinion on Insecure, if you watched it last night, call in at two and five six one nine seven three six six and let us know your opinion. What up? Let's get back into the Mad Mix on MarcoRadio.com. 